11. With school back in session in just a few weeks, Western New York's largest school district has just made a big announcement that will affect every student and staff member. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. The Buffalo Public School District now says everyone must wear a face mask inside school buildings regardless of their vaccination status. Last week, the state told school districts it would not provide any COVID-19 safety guidance for school districts and that they would have to come up with their own reopening plans. Jeff Rusak takes a closer look at the protocols laid out tonight. It's back to school for Buffalo Public School students, five days a week in-person classes, all while being fully masked. Even before the New York State Department of Health said they would not be outlining COVID-19 protocols for schools this year, the BPS medical director knew a mask mandate was coming. Uh, we reviewed uh, the numbers around the country. We looked at the, the known contagiousness of the Delta variant, and we concluded that now is not the time to let up our safety protocols. Students will be distanced three feet from one another during the school day. Half of the six plus feet students were spaced during in-school instruction last year. While BPS has outlined their plans to get back to school, some people are still looking to the state for guidance for going back. This isn't a game. This isn't a political issue. The, the government entity that's responsible for, for public health is the state government. And then to you know, secondary degree, your local counties. And so it should health decisions come from health professionals, not school superintendents. Buffalo Public Schools start on September 8th, depending on COVID-19 numbers in Buffalo. The superintendent said back to school plans could change at any time. Jeffrey Sachs, 7 Eyewitness News.